It's next fest season, and this is the demo for Sulfur. Uh, I've played it a little bit, and I don't understand it, but maybe we can figure it out together. It's basically uh, a roguelite boomer shooter style game. I'm using the word boomer shooter hesitantly, though. It's not actually, you know what, it is not. It is an old school styled shooter. It's got some old school vibes to it. I would not call it a boomer shooter, actually, because it doesn't have sort of the... Uh, implied speed and chaos uh, of that kind of st shooter. It's a, it's a little bit more of a slower-paced, couple enemies at a time kind of deal. We'll just wait for this loading bar, and then we'll figure out together what kind of shooter this is. Um, the thing I don't fully understand is... Like, they've got some mid-run checkpoints, and I don't know how those work. So maybe we'll figure it out today. I don't know. But I just woke up from a grave. I've got a little... It looks kind of like a Luger. Um, there's this little church here with some some little dudes. Hey, hey there, dude. How's it going, youngin? <laughs> Hell treating you well? Uh, yeah, later, old pal. Whatever. There's some people here. This is this, is this person. Sup, father. Need me to take a look at that piece? Um, yeah, so I don't think I've actually got any money. Um, because I think I need to somehow either win a run or otherwise get out of a run in one piece in order to spend money. And I so far have, have not done that. I have not gotten out of a run in one piece. There is nothing in this trunk. Um, so let's, let's see if we can get out of a run in one piece. Here is a, um, a hole. So we jump in a hole. That takes us to the caves, our first level. And we are here. Once I jump down, that's it. No going back. And we're crossing a bridge. If I fall down there, I will take damage and respawn. I will not instantly die, which is good because, you know, death is a big deal in a game like this. Oh, gosh. There's an archer over there. Ah, and a little guy. Oh, multiple little guys. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so that's what happens when you fall off a cliff. Oh! Oh, he sticks to a He gets to stick to a wall. Of course, he also gets to die. Oh, no. Okay. There. All right. Enemies killed. But, as you can see, uh, my health bar at the bottom uh, is not doing that great. So, I need to uh, not jump in any more holes, but also pick up something I can eat. So, I can eat these purple mushrooms here. Um... But they don't give you very much health. Just one health over one second. So I'm going to eat all of them. And they healed me a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, I don't think these guys... Yeah, these mushrooms don't turn into anything. So I'm going to climb around until I find another exit. Oh, there's some blood from when I shot the archer from further away. Oh, and more little purplies. There we go. Let's just eat all our little purplies. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, health is doing a little better, but it looks like this is not the exit. So where, where is the exit? Pray tell. Um, oh, wait, there's some more mushrooms up there. Oh, and down here. Well, don't I feel like a lucky guy? Oh, and some cheese. Oh, oh there's my exit. Okay, before I take that exit, though, I really kind of want those other mushrooms. I mean, if you're going to give me a bunch of mushrooms that only heal a tiny, tiny amount each, I'm going to eat all of them. So you're just going to have to deal with what that does to the pacing of your game. Now, you can see the preview on my health that when I mouse over this cheese, it'll actually heal me completely, actually to such a degree that I don't want to eat the cheese um, because I feel like that'll be wasting some health. So I'm just going to eat the rest of the shrooms, and I'm sure nothing weird will happen because I ate a bunch of shrooms. All right. Hack these guys open. Oh, oh, I got a, a broth. Excellent. So food generally tends to be healing items. Anybody, anybody scary in here? Oh, there's an exit. Okay, so first level I think was not all that challenging, though I did still manage to screw it up. Um, now, okay, there's a cooking pot over here. I have never been able to figure out a recipe that I could use. Like, I keep putting things in the pot, and the cook 
option never never highlights. And so I I don't know. I mean, I assume jar of poison delicious. I assume that there must be either either I can learn recipes over time. That's the thing. I don't know if what I'm missing is like I just need to experiment with more and more combinations of stuff until something works or if there are actual like unlockable recipes that I need to find that uh you know that will then unlock options that just plain don't exist for me yet. So, yeah, so I don't know if this is like information is missing or if like tangible upgrades are missing. Something's missing though cuz I do not know how to cook. If you know how to cook in this game, please leave a comment. <laughs> Because I would love to find out about it. All right. Come on, caves. You can do it. You can load. Here we are. All right. Down the hall. Oh, oh, little guy. Is he going to... He... These guys, they can pass through that stuff. So, okay. So, little guy. He does a fair amount of damage if you let him hit you. And he's weirdly easy to miss. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that wasn't great on me. Um, oh, by the way, you can just hack corpses apart. Like, you can disrespect the heck out of corpses um, until there's nothing left. So, actually, I mean, I guess you could consider this cleaning up. I'm just cleaning up my mess that I left. There's a few kidneys that I can't quite destroy, but, you know, that's, that's okay. And a potato. All right, but my health is pretty low because I did a poor job of fighting those guys. I need to, you know, level up my skills a bit. So we got... Okay, so notice in that first area, when I moused over the cheese, it told me how much it would heal. I think they have a bug in the demo where that stops happening at some point. So I think I may need to... I, I don't know numerically how much health I have, but this says five health over three seconds. Let's find out. So that's 15 health. How big... That's how big 15 health is. So 15 health over 10 seconds. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's not 5 over 3. It's... You don't multiply it. I think it's just a total of 15 health. Wait, right? Or is it? No. Is this... Or is this 150 health? Now I'm not sure. Let's find out if this is much bigger than the other one. It's about three times as big. So, yeah. So I think the total amount of health is what counts. Yeah, okay. So they're telling you the total amount of health you're going to get. You don't multiply it by the number of seconds. It's just telling you how fast it happens. All right. So I think all those enemies came out of here. So this place, unless there's a stranded enemy, this place is probably safe. Hand grenade. So uh, we're not going to be using this hand grenade in combat because there are better uses for grenades. I mean, if we get really, really panicked, whatever, we might. But uh, we're going to avoid using it in combat. This game is very forgiving with the sort of exploity movement. At least movement that feels exploity. Okay, wait a minute. Where did I... I came from here, right? Yeah, I think I hacked my way through that door. So this... This is the exit. Oh, we got, we got a, some kind of guy. Oh, oh, he can just shove stuff out of the way, can he? All right. There we go. Do not ever want to let those archers get a shot off. They do a fair amount of damage. Their, their, their projectiles are pretty dodgeable, but you really want to dodge them. Ooh, laser sight. Okay, so that is a weapon upgrade. I can just slap it onto my weapon there, and now I have a laser sight. Not not, not sure exactly what benefit it has, but that's okay. Um, is, this, is this something I can interact with? I mean, kinda. Don't want to waste too much ammo, though. I... Can I... I guess I can jump over there. Is there anything over there that I want? I mean, those those tend to be physics-y blocks. Maybe there's something in here. Uh... Nope. Nope. Seems like... Seems like... No, there's not. There's nothing... There's nothing over here. I can just... Oh, wait. Wait. What was that? What was that? Oh, it was a stick. Yeah, I've got a stick. I don't... I don't know why I want a stick. Um... Maybe I can... S oh, no! Uh, you can swim in this game. So that's... That's... 
valuable information that I'm glad we gleaned. This is the way I came from. Uh, so the exit must be somewhere near the other side. Is that the exit? No, well, hmm, it's an exit. It's a form of exit, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. So I am trying to conserve my ammo, because even though you start with a fairly large amount of ammo, Oh crap. See, I thought I was going to efficiently avoid using ammo by sorting that guy. And then, um, no, that didn't work. And I don't have any healing left, so bleh. But I do have a hand grenade. Which can destroy the cracky walls. That means uh, there's a thing in here. Oh, a second laser sight? Oh, thank you, game. That is what I hoped I would get is another copy of a thing I already had. I mean, if I got a second gun, then that could be useful. But until I do, it's kind of not. But at least we did get a little bit of healing there. Um, nothing much in here. Where... Oh, 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 little dog, little doggy. Yeah, so it seems like I do kind of an unpredictable amount of damage to these guys. Those guys sometimes take two hits, sometimes they take three. I don't know if hit location makes a difference or if it's just randomness. Because I don't feel like... A, whoa, motorcycle helmet. Pineapple grenade, excellent. Boink, motorcycle helmet. So, by the way, these things have... This one gives me plus three armor and plus 50 explosion resistance, uh, but it's worn, so I don't know. That's some combination of things that it does. But yeah, I don't know if the enemies are just taking random amounts of damage, and that's why, or if their health is random, which is effectively the same thing. Um, or if uh, there's something to my hit location, like if I'm getting head shots, maybe that does more damage than normal shots. But because their head is most of their body, I always kind of feel like I'm getting a head shot. Um, and I'm not feeling like a huge, strong difference like, oh, that was a head, oh, sweet, I just got a head shot. Oh, I didn't get a head shot that time. Like, I'm not having that experience. And so I, I'm having trouble, like, recognizing whether or not hit location is mattering. Because it could be that hit location is absolutely mattering, and that is a full explanation. I'm trying to get up there, but I don't think there's a way. Um, and that's a full explanation for why sometimes it's three shots to grab the little doggy boys, and sometimes it's one, you know, it's two shots. But it could also just be random. I, yeah. So it, it's really kind of important when you're sort of designing the feedback systems of a game to make it really clear to the player what's going on and so sometimes you can do that with damage numbers sometimes you can do that with like some kind of special feedback some special sound effect when you get a headshot um sometimes you can do it with uh like so this says damage 60 so i'm betting that means that my damage amount isn't variable because it would say a variable amount if it was variable so it, i'm assuming that because here's my assumption i'm assuming their health is stable and my damage is stable and that it is hit location that's my first, that's my primary guess. But if that guess is true, let's, let's watch for it. Maybe there is some feedback for like headshots and stuff that I'm just not noticing. Because I would love to know if that's what's going on. Yay, Molotov cocktail. Um, I would love to know if that's what's going on. Oh, gosh. So I'm gonna save that Molotov cocktail. Ooh, my P38 Dirk just leveled up. Now, what does that mean when it levels up? It still does damage 60. Oh, I think it gained an enchantment slot. I think that I think that's what happened. We'll, we'll double check that. Next time I level a weapon up, we'll, we'll pay attention to that. But I, th I think they gain an enchantment slot. So I think that leveling up a weapon doesn't immediately make it better, but it gives you the capacity to improve it later if you want to. Okay, so this room has two exits, uh, which means that the complexity has gone up Oh, wait, do I have... I've got stuff I can eat. Let's eat some stuff. Eat, 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 eat. There we go. Okay, so we'll have to remember there's a branch we didn't take. Plain white tea. More damage than my... Oh, yeah, I really am a priest, aren't I? It 
has more armor value than my shirt. I don't know how armor works. If it's just like a flat reduction in incoming damage or if it's somehow compared to the damage or if it escalates a percentage reduction, that's not super clear. Okay, well, I'm glad I went that way first because I always want to go the dead end way first. Oh, oh, a bunch of little men. Oh gosh, oh, oh no. Now, if I had thought ahead, I probably could have used a Molotov on these guys. In fact, I still might be able to. Oh no, it only got one of them. Oh, he can still shoot me while he's all on fire? Oh, that's not fair. I can't shoot people while I'm on fire. Well, maybe I can actually. Maybe in this game I can shoot people while I'm on fire. Well, so I mean, I got some goblin flesh. Doesn't seem extremely cookable, not even if I mix it with poison. So this run isn't looking great because uh, there's some runs where I get a bunch of healing stuff, but this is not one of them. I mean, got a little bit right there. Those heal a lot more than the purple ones. Uh, I mean, is there a reason to blow that thing up? Let's see. So these guys are poisonous. I can't actually eat these. I kept wondering if maybe, like, I can craft poison with them. Or, like, poison that's usable as a weapon. Wait, is it? Oh, some kind of little dude coming after me. Okay. By the way, remember how much ammo I was excited about having at the beginning of the game? Got a lot less now. All right. Oh, oh, he just dropped some, though. So, yeah, so this game's ammo is, like, tuned within an inch of its life. Like, you kind of never, like, fully run out. You do keep picking it up. But by about halfway through your run, like, you're kind of living hand-to-mouth on the ammo. Oh, mystery meat. Yes. Okay, okay. So, our health isn't amazing. Oh, wait, here's some more, some more shrooms. Our health isn't amazing, but it is, it is health. We have, we have some now, so that's cool. Let's, let's not accidentally eat some poison. This game does simulate the very real situation of um, needing to tell apart the mushrooms in your inventory and eat only the good ones. Uh, okay. So this place looks empty. I think I've already stripped the enemies out of it. Oh, also, by the way, I just got a suppressor. So my fights will not be attracting guys from other rooms. This does explode, um, but I'm trying to think of a good place. Like, can I move? I assume I can move it around. Yeah, I kind of can, but I don't think I can take it anywhere cool. So I'm just going to leave it there. Actually, maybe I can. Yeah, I'll leave it here. And then if I need to run away this direction and blow up some enemies, it could be useful that way. Like, oh, that guy's never going to walk up to it. Is he? I don't know. Let's see. Is that guy going to follow me in here? Yeah, he's an archer. Archers aren't real big followers. Oh. I think I should just... I should just shoot it. I am picking up money, by the way. And... Uh, Money is is actually useful. There There is somebody who sells stuff. Oh, wait, no, what did I do? Oh, I didn't need to waste a grenade. There's a thing right here. I should have used the barrel. That was dumb. All right, whatever. Uh, there's a, what is this? Rate of fire oil. Ah, this is an enchantment. Okay, so this will improve my rate of fire on my gun. So we'll do that. So now I'm using my enchantment slot. So if the gun levels up again, it's halfway up rank one. If we level it up again, we'll be able to put another enchantment on it. Boink, 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 boink. So I think like attachments, you can basically just put one in each slot, but in but in but like enhancement. Sorry, uh, uh, what are they called? What are they called? En enchantments. Enchantments. There's a limited number. All right. So now I think, yeah, we've got 
a load of mushrooms here. I love these little num 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 sounds that my character's making. Okay, that's probably enough of that. So let's continue on. Wait, where did I? Remembering which door I came out of is kind of a, oh, well, hey, thank you, helpful, helpful dog boy. Oh, dang it. I was, tr I was trying to time that so that I would damage him. Maybe I should have let him attack me, but tried to dodge or something, and then maybe I should have gone after him. After. After hit attacked. That would have been smarter. Can't get up that way? Okay. There's got to be some way I can get up. What about here? Alright, yeah. Well, I'm... I sure am up here now. What was this for? Why am I... Why put multiple levels in a place if you're not gonna use it for prizes and stuff? I wonder if there's a if there's other uses of this room that could involve like a bridge to this upper story. Oh crap! A bunch of little dudes. That, are they coming after me? I think they are. Oh crap! Hey, a shoe. Dang. Oh, oh, here we go. Dolphin 99. So this is a sniper rifle that fires. It's a 50 caliber sniper rifle. I think it comes with its own, with a magazine of ammo. Okay, I've got a bunch of 12 gauge ammo. I don't have any, I don't have any ammo for this, but I think I, it probably comes with its own magazine. There's the shoe. And I should probably eat this. And, the, oh, Right. I got an Ugg boot as well. Okay, so I've got like two boots now. One of them gives me frost resistance and move speed. This one gives me just move speed. Oh, I am kind of moving a little faster. That's neat. But yeah, so I can switch to my 50 cal. So I think, I think those five bullets represent in the lower right-hand corner. I think those are all I've got. I don't have any backup ammo for this thing, so... Let's save this for a boss battle or something. Ah, hello! Okay, so that guy takes a sec- Okay, so he typically takes four shots to kill. So if I shoot him three times and then sword him, I can save some ammunition. Yay, stick grenade. I've got this throwing knife. I've never really been able to use it particularly effectively. That's an okay person. They're our friend. Um, I should try to use it at some point. Oh, hey, let's use it here. Okay, well that was more damaging than my blade. Oh gosh. Ah! Dang it. Okay, that didn't go great for me or my ammo. Freaking more? Ah. Okay, hold on a second. No, I got nothing to eat. Okay. Well, then you come over here. Get a little closer, you jerk. There we go. All right. We've got... Okay, we managed to pick up a little bit of ammo. Oh, and we got some bread. And... Oh, so many laser sights. Actually, I just realized I can put a laser sight on this, right? Yeah. Okay. That's got a laser sight now. Yay. Um, that's a store. I'm going to eat some bread before I attempt to get to the store. Is there a... There's no good way to get to that store. I'm going to make one attempt to jump to that mushroom. <gasps> okay. 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 Hello, store. Okay, so it says something about the magic word. I don't know. I think the magic word might be money. Um, okay, so I'm going to sell these mushrooms the jar of poison is something I can throw at enemies I'm going to sell my old shirt I'm going to sell the stick and the bone because I don't know what else they're for and I don't think I'm going to need I mean I guess if I grab a new gun that could benefit from the laser sight oh, oh it does Oh, it does accuracy while moving by the way that's what that does um, that could be fine there's no 
enhance. There's no enchantment slot here, and no enchantment slot that's free here, but it's about to level up. Um, so I could. How much? I've got 128 bucks. I could. Oh, crit chance. Look at this. There are crits in the game. Maybe that's where the damage variants are coming from. Does this say crit on it? This didn't tell me it could crit. We got Scroll of Plague, which means bullet supply poison. Oh, these all cost a thousand. I've got nowhere near the money for these. Okay. These are smaller enchantments that I also cannot afford. Um, I could probably have. Wait. Wait, okay, so these are slightly slower, but not by much. They're, these cost the same? One health immediately over one second versus five health over three? These are the same price? Okay, okay that seems seems odd. Um, so so I, I'm kind of inclined to just to buy this stuff just because I couldn't, wouldn't mind some other healing. Let's sell this goblin flesh. Yeah, I think that's all that I can do. So let's do that. Um, is there anything I wanted to move into my quick slots? I don't think so. Okay, now I have to get back. <laughs> Watch me die from this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Okay. Oh, you... Oh, this guy's a coward. Actually, did I need to go up here for any reason? Not really. Okay. So those guys run away and get friends. He, he ran off. I'm assuming that it's good to murder those guys. I mean, you know. <laughs> they're goblins! Of course it's good to murder them, or whatever they are. Demons? I don't know what they're supposed to be. I guess if I'm in hell, they're demons. They did say that I was in hell at the beginning. Throwing knife. Now, do throwing knives stack? Or oh wait, no, I didn't. I already used the other throwing knife. That, so who we don't know or care if they stack. Um, I think this is the way I was going. Was there anything smashable in here? Oh yes, the bottle. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. There's the exit. Anything weird or scary or valuable in here? Um, can I? Okay, yeah, I can get up here. But all I can do is cook. And I, I mean, do I, what? No, I can't, I can't cook. The cooking's gonna bug me. I, I don't know what to do with it. What? I have di tried different combinations of mushrooms and stuff. Ooh, okay. So we're getting to level four. There's a special thing in level four that seems like it's supposed to let me, like, bring maybe bring stuff home safely from a run, maybe, or something. Now, there's no guarantees that I'll get there. I mean, I guess I should probably heal. Um, but if I do get there... We can try to figure out how it works. I appreciate enemies who start a jump at you and then keep jumping even if you kill them. Oh crap, this guy! Okay, hold on. Now that does a lot of damage, right? Oh no. Oh, that hit me! Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this guy across the water from me. And... Come on, man. Okay. This does not seem like it's doing as much damage as I... Whoa! Okay, apparently... Oh, there we go. Okay, we killed him. And it, wait, what was that? Oh, this little piece of armor fell out of him. It's loot. It's pillow armor. Excellent. All right. Yeah. That that freaked me out. Okay, of course that makes sense. The rushing river takes me to my doom. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. 
but yeah, this pillow armor, it slows me down a bit, but it raises my armor rating significantly, so that's good. Um, we are out of sniper rifle bullets and almost out of pistol bullets, so uh, yeah, chances of getting to the end of this are kind of slim. There's a bunch of stuff up high in here, though. Let's see if I can get to any of it. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, please be something that heals me. No, you are just knives. I've got more throwing knives. No, I used. I keep. I keep using my throwing knives and then forgetting I've used them. So I keep thinking, oh, I've got a stack of throwing knives now. No, I don't. I used the last throwing knife. Um. I should have poisoned that guy. That would have been a better move if I'd been thinking about what consumables I had. Oh, hello. Oh, that didn't. There we go. Oh, hey, my Dirk ranked up. And so now you can see, yes, I have another empty enchantment slot. So each time it ranks up, I get an enchantment slot, which I can use, you know, for enchantments. Um, oh, there's this guy. Oh, little guy. Oh, I thought he died. Oh, that was his friend. Okay, they're just hurting me a lot. Um, I would like one of you to drop food or maybe to have mushrooms in your room. Would that be cool? Could one of you please have some mushrooms in your room so I don't die because I'm bad at avoiding damage? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, obviously you're going down. Um, anybody going to come in from here? I don't think so. Okay, well, this is better than nothing. Marginally. Oh, this is going to be like a boss battle or something, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, skellies. Ah, I can't. Ow, okay. Okay, that was just... Oh, no! No, I didn't think more guys were going to come. Okay, and that guy's... That guy's red. I don't know what that means. Ow. What? No, come on. I think I poisoned myself. Just there. <laughs> I needed to be um, preparing and thinking ahead for that a lot more than I did. Um, okay, so I'm back. Back at the church. I have nothing in my inventory... Guns back to zero. I did not successfully do whatever thing. No, no, I didn't mean to interact with you. No, go, go away. Go away. I wanted to see if there's anything that... There we go. So I've got some money now. Um, does that mean I can... Buy something here? Can I afford stuff? Not, not really. Um, this looks like crafting materials. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. See, there's nothing in here. So yeah, I failed to do the thing that you need to do at the fourth level <laughs> to make things better. But that's okay. This is a roguelike. This is how this is how this works. So we've been doing this for half an hour. I got a debate if I want to try to jump in and do better during the same episode. Kind of think I do. You can't really experience it as a roguelike unless, you know, you're seeing multiple runs. So let's do multiple runs. Now, I'm going to try to get through this a little bit faster, which means more recklessly and probably more poorly. Um, get up this way, and then that way. Dynamite. And then, I don't care. Okay, let's get another arrow out here. Okay, so those guys sometimes take three, they sometimes take four. 
Probably depends on whether I get a random crit. There's the exit. But I want to see if there's... Yes. Useful shrooms. Come here. Come here! No, come on. Can I really not get this? There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, good. More of these guys. Do 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 Alright. Alright, time to jump in a hole. Lo-fi beats to kill goblins with. Kill goblins too? Who knows about prepositions, really? They're one of life's great mysteries. Oh, wait, that... Ah, no, no, do not, do not kill me. Okay. Yeah, so I wonder if there's like a an elevated crit chance or if you hit them in that head or who, who, who are you? Mm. Greetings, father. Want to mix the magics? Um, let's just sell me some stuff. Okay, so I got money out of the collection thing. So... Projectile amount, so I can, okay, so I can make a weapon do less damage, but carry more projectiles? Is that what that is? I don't want that. Um, this one, bigger bullets, but more, wait, there's bullet drop? Uh, okay, yeah, so this raises the number of project. okay, so raising the number of projectiles, okay, plus, two, so it's three times as many, but half the damage, so ultimately, the gun contains more damage. But you gotta fire it more. It's not worth it to me. However, bigger bullets... I mostly am shooting things at close range anyway. So bigger bullets actually seems like it could play well with my... Um, insane and ill-advised playstyle with this game. Um, okay, none of this is... I feel like using the word playstyle might be giving the way I play this game too much credit. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got... Hey guys. You coming? Oh, you little butt. Oh, <sighs> okay. Took a little bit of damage. Let's um eat some little weird stuff. I always eat the crappiest ones first because they take up more space in your inventory per healing. Um, let's see. I think there's only cooking up here, which... Oh, nope, nope, nope. There's a thing. Well, that's why you check. And nothing up here. Okay. Let me down. Let me down. Anybody? Oh, where? Whew, we got a shoe. Let's wear our shoe. Okay, these do occasionally contain something. I really should, I should be destroying way more, oh gosh. Oh, overdid it with that guy. A pancreas. Excellent. I've got a rock and a pancreas. I'm sure there are many things I can do with those two. So, okay, so, okay, so what if I put, like, two different mushrooms in here and a pancreas? Yeah, the button just doesn't light up. No freaking idea, man. I'm just gonna heal those guys. All right.
Uh, I'm nervous. Like, I gotta keep my eye on the entrance in case there's enemies about to come barreling through. So, yeah, even though I start with, a quote-unquote, enough ammo, I'm very nervous about wasting it. Oh, hey, wait, there's a new... Aha, there's a new gun. However, I think this gun fires the same... Yeah, this fires the same and... Oh, oh, did this level up? This leveled up. Awesome, let's put the enchantment... Let's put the bigger bullets enchantment on it. So, the problem is, like... I don't think I'm ever going to use this gun, right? Unless I have to. Because it pulls from the same ammo, but it does... Does it do less damage? No, it does... Well, okay, it does less damage now because I... raised the damage of the other one. But, like, it blasts through things so quickly. Like, I'm... I mean, I might use it against a boss or something, but... Just for the ammo it already contains. Ah, there's a, there's a crack in the wall. Eh. Let's um let's nade that sucker. I think it's usually like enchantments you get in here. Yeah, crit oil. So I can use that next time the gun levels up. And some poison. Now is is this where I came from? Nope, just some hole. Nothing. Alright, so... Where am I trying to get? This was the hole I opened in the door. This is... This is where I... This is where I came... Oh, wait, did I... Broth. So yeah, I think this is... Yeah, this is where I came in. Okay, so, wait, what's... Some, oh, wait, I think I see the... The exit is up through that hole. That's where it is. Okay. So let's get up there. How does one get up there? Maybe like this? Wait. Anything up here that I care about? Oh, just some little... Some little heels, little tiny heels. Come on. Come on. Come on, let me get, let me get up there. Let me, no! Okay, no, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay, okay. Whew, all right, all right. You know what? Those little heels, not worth it. Not if they're going to drop me in a river and potentially give me more damage. All right, level three. Part of me wants to be like, hey, I'm doing a little better this time around. Another part of me is like, don't jinx it, you idiot. Whoa, what? 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 Oh, it's some... It's a boss. Got him! Okay, the poison got him. Nice. Before something else attacks me, let's eat all of our little purple mushrooms. Purple mushrooms. Purple mushrooms. Purple mushrooms. Purple mushrooms. Alright. Hey, a rock. Everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. Okay, so this guy has got a rifle I can't use. That's annoying. So we had kind of a boss battle on level three. Last time, the surprising weird battle was on four. This game likes to mess with you. Okay, a scared guy, a speary guy. Oh, and a little bouncy guy. Okay, bouncy guy's the one I'm worried about. Nope. Oh, come on.
Okay, so it only takes three shots to kill these guys when this gun is leveled up with fancier bullets. However, we are now at... We are now at bare minimum ammo. So we got a lot of health this time around. We are not collecting a whole bunch of ammo. Coward was not carrying any ammo. You know what? We're... Yeah, whatever. Oh, he's running away that way. Fine, whatever. Enjoy your momentary freedom, butthead. Oop, plain white tee. Better armor. Better in what way? Who can tell? It's entirely possible that guy went and got somebody. I don't know who's in the next room. Oh yeah, he did. He totally brought a friend. Oh, shoot! He brought multiple somebodies. Okay, let's... Let's eat. Nope, get off the... Get... Oh, gosh. Get off. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Oh, come on. Come back down. Oh, I just got some 12 gauge ammo. That'd be nice if I had a shotgun. Okay, so the coward is running away again. I wonder if he's gonna find any other enemies. Oh, before I find that out. I assume this is where he went? I need to grab this. Oh gosh! Okay, yeah, you gotta cut that out. Little tattletale. Alright. Wait, what is... Ah, Mossman! Okay, okay. So now we've got a shotgun. And rounds for a shotgun. That's going to be nice. Alright, who... There can't be any enemies left in this level. That little guy went and got everyone. Stick grenade. Let's replace our health. That's a possible exit. This is a big area. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's got a bunch of healing in it, too. Um, nothing over... Oh, 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 one thing over this way. What's the best way to get to that? I mean, I guess maybe I can jump onto the... Oh, let me back off the... Anyway. Yep. It's a little bit hard to predict what you can and cannot use as a stair step in this game. Sometimes things look like you can use them, they're just a little too high or a little too slopey. It's not often the game sort of lean into the whole, like, it's awkward to move on a slope in a 3D game, probably. Like, these guys really lean into it, like, yeah, you can sort of hammer your way up one of these things, but it never feels right, you know? Most games try to make the world out of little plateaus, basically. So that it does feel right. Oh, gosh. Really? How, how many shots do you take, you jerk? Fluffy hat. Oh, wait. I just put it on automatically? I thought usually I had to manually... Whatever. Um, oh, let's... Oh, by the way, now I do understand why the Velvet Bells cost the same as the Rod Sups. Uh, before I was like, what? But the Rod Sup heals you so much more. But in the heat of combat, these heal you faster. You have to eat a lot more of them but they heal you faster. And so, basically, they heal you up almost immediately as soon as you... Oh, a bunch of weapon stuff. As soon as you close the inventory, whereas the Rod Sups, or whatever, would take longer. <laughs> hey there, Stiff Leg. Uh, let's look at what you've got. Okay, so this guy's got 
boxes of ammo. A NOP 22, which does 120 damage versus... This does 30 times 8, and this does 75. So this does more damage than my current gun, but it costs 800. I've got 6 I can't buy it anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Spring Coil Boot. So I can jump higher. What? That's tempting. What else do we have here? Box of 9 mil. I mean, just getting enough 9 mil to keep me going might be what I want to do. This has cost 70. This costs 50. Energy cells? What am I going to... Okay. All right, let's see. So how much is this? Let's... It's 30. And then we'll spend the 70 on that. Actually, let's just... You know what? Let's freaking buy all of this. Um... I don't think I can afford most other things on here, but that's okay. Yeah, the throwing knife does more damage. All right, and then let's sell... I'm, I'm scared of accidentally eating these things. That's why I always drag them. Let's sell the stuff that I don't know what it's for. And let's sell the drifter as well. Let's sell my shirt. Now this crit oil, I can't use it yet but I will eventually be able to use it. I think everything else here... Oh, the pancreas. Pfft. Oh, two more rocks. I think everything else here is useful. You know, I feel like I should consolidate a little bit here. <laughs> I just got so much BS sitting here. I wonder if there is a... I don't see a consolidate button. I imagine that that might be worth investing in at some point, though. I mean, this game is effectively... I mean, this is a pre-release demo, so this game is effectively in early access. Uh, I would not be surprised if they do have such ideas in the works. But I guess it didn't take that long to consolidate. All right. I've never run into this merchant before. That was great. I suddenly have way more resources at my disposal. And, oh, look at this. Wait, am I in level four? Wait, no, no. Okay, so for a second I thought this was the shriny thing. It's not. Um, this, we're still at level three, I think, aren't we? I don't remember what level we're on. I think it's three. Ah! Yay, he dropped broth as well. Ah! Dang it! Okay, well I'm doing more poorly now that I've... Uh, whatever. Now that I've very cleverly collected a bunch of ammo, I'm not doing as well as I was doing before. Oh, I am not going to let you do your thing. That last guy definitely taught me that murdering innocent bystanders is, a, is, is the right move. That's my exit, I think. But let's... This level is surprisingly long. Like, I, I feel like this might be the longest one we've seen so far. Come on. Come on. Okay. Why did I go this way? Okay. Yeah, get along, little doggy. Oh, gosh. Anybody else? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Take that. Um, okay, that's the exit. kind of enchantment we have. Oh! Shrouded Barrel Extension. What does that do? Reduces spread. Ah! So, does that work on a shotgun? Make it, give it a tighter, you know, distribution of pellets? That would be cool, if so. Huge, if true. 
And oh, I guess maybe there was probably a way to use that barrel to open that door, but well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, okay, I think this is the way to level four. See how this goes. What the heck? Something, something is shooting. What is shooting? Wow, I'm doing so horribly at fighting this guy. Oh no, oh no, what the? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, okay, sorry, I... I just got completely, somehow, just whatevered by that. I was surprised by that. Just suddenly everyone flooding into the room. Okay. I mean, luckily, we had collected enough stuff that we could live through it. Um, and see, okay, the biggest problem is I had not reloaded my shotgun after the last time I used it. So when I switched to my shotgun, I was kind of screwed. Wait, there's a... Oh, this is the 22 that does even more damage. I'll hold on to that. Let's also pull this in. Yeah, that was, um... Not great. Thing is, like, this... Fighting one or two guys at a time, I feel like that is something I can master in this game. Fighting lots and lots of guys at once... I, I don't feel like I really have the wherewithal to deal with that. Like, I, I feel, it always feels a little bit like, okay, well, I was definitely going to take some damage from that situation. Now, I def, I mean, I certainly could have done far better than I did at that if I had been basically more agile with all of my different abilities. And if I had remembered to, you know, fill up my, my shotgun, but... They were not kidding, by the way, about more bullet drop. That is definitely a thing. Um, okay. Well, hopefully whatever I face next won't kill me as bad as the last thing. Oh, wow! One shot. And also they killed a bunch of friars? What are, who are these guys? Coward. Oh, wait, this. Oh, no, that's the. This is the guy with the sniper rifle that I fought with. Multiples of them, and they're dead. Why? Oh, what is. What does this environmental storytelling mean? Also, how do I get up. Up there? Can I. Can I. Feel like I'm exploiting my way up this? Yes, apparently so. Cryogenic grenade. That could be useful against a boss. Now, how, how is my gun doing? It's almost past rank one. I can almost use the crit enchantment on it. Okay, this is this gun is not going to hit that guy up where he was. Okay, Dirk ranked up. So let's put the crit chance on it. Uh, oh, I picked up some extra 9 mil. That's cool. Oh, there's a, some kind of dude. That's uh, this kind of tattletale dude. Okay. Before I go that way, let's see what else there is in here. Uh, an egg. And then there's a cooking place. Can't do anything with that. So let's... Okay, so the wildly unpredictable damage is kind of tough in a game like this. It is so much about sort of managing and conserving your resources. 
Like, I kind of want to be able to just use exactly the right amount of ammo for each enemy. And it can be a little tough when it's just, when I find it unpredictable. Okay, there's a little guy up there. Oh crap, this guy's... Oh no! What the heck? No! Stop it! Okay, that was... As I was walking along this cliff, I was like, okay, if I ever have to run away through this room, I need to turn around so I see where I'm going. Did not follow my own advice. Um, let's... Let's... It's what I'm now more interested in eating the slow stuff first. Because I know I might need the fast stuff in the middle of combat. Let's consolidate. Diving fin. So I can swim oh, significantly faster with that. Wow. I guess since you don't swim much, it's okay if you get an, a single item that just radically alters the swimming experience. So actually, I'm curious. Let's just try that out. Yeah, I, I, I think I am faster. All right. Oh, that, okay, that room has a little shrine thing in it, but let's quickly do this first. Okay, so this is the thing that I've been trying to get to, but... Okay, well, I gotta deal with enemies first. Dang it, you got a shot off. Actually, before I take care of that, let's, um... Nope, none of these are good. Let's dynamite. Motorcycle helmet. I don't have room for motorcycle helmet. Well, let's make room for a motorcycle helmet. Now, do I want... Okay, so this is frost resistance. I'm not encountering a lot of frost enemies. I am encountering exploding enemies, so we're going to switch to that. But, we've got this shriny thing here. This is in the tutorial, but I didn't have enough context when it explained itself for me to understand what it was doing. And I tried to immediately obey the instructions for how to use it, and I, I don't think I understood what happened. So I'm going to interact with it. My, like, talisman absorbs something from it. I put the talisman back on, and then I think I can use it for my inventory? I think that's... What, and then I go back? So now the question is... Do I want to go a little further forward just to see what prizes there are? Or, I mean, this is like, this is me risking. Oh, no, I can, so I can go on to the next level if I want. You know what? I've got a meeting in nine minutes. So I'm not going to go to the next level. Instead, I'm going to try using this. So I'm going to right-click on this and see what happens. I'm filled to the brim and could take us home, if you please. Get me out of here prompto, return to church. Okay. So now I return to the church and keep my inventory and money and stuff? Is that how this works? Yes, I have all my stuff. And did somebody put money in the collection box? Ah, so do they only collect when I die? Possibly. Now let's put things. Like, you know what? Let's save this up until I've got... Like, these are fancy things. Let's put all of our fancy stuff in here to, like, save up for some amazing run. I don't know how to use... So, okay... 
these false self caps, they apparently are usable. Oh wait, no, but they're consumable, so that's why they can be. I can put them there. But yeah, let's. I haven't figured out if there's a good way to use those bad mushrooms, so I'm gonna sell those bad mushrooms. Let's sell the bad mushrooms. I wonder if they're just gonna start accumulating in here, um, or if they're gonna go away each time. But yeah, but I've got my leveled up gun, and I've got, yeah, my, my, I've got all of this stuff. Plus, I saved the extra, so okay, so I've been selling everything I didn't need, but actually, if there's a chance of me coming home and stocking up for future runs, I should do that. So yeah, okay, so now I could go on another run right now, but I don't have time. Um, I, I mean, it's been over an hour now, and I do need to, to, to get to some work, but... This is an interesting game. I'm actually really enjoying this. I mean, when I get overwhelmed by enemies and I start panicking, that's tough. Uh, <laughs> but but overall, like I actually am having am having a great time, and it's like I'm and I'm wanting. It's this is an interesting approach to a roguelike because it feels like instead of playing the same run again and again and again and again and again until you finally succeed, in this game you're meant to play half runs to build yourself up to the point where you're ready to take on the rest of the run. And now I could have just gone on as far as I could. And then when I feel like I'm overwhelmed, you know, feel like I, Oh, like I'm, I'm, I'm out of stuff and I'm out of healing and I'm almost going to die. I can use the, uh, I probably couldn't do it in the middle of combat, but I can use the, um, the, uh, the amulet, go back and try again from the beginning. But either way, like I'm, I'm meant to do partial run after partial run while coming back intact building myself up and then being finally ready. Yeah, so th that whole mechanic of just ending a run early on purpose so that you can save your stuff up for the next run. I feel like that's fairly novel. I'm sure there's some other game that's done it, but that feels like a fairly novel addition to the genre. Um, and that makes me want to play with it more to sort of understand how it works. So, um, anyway, I do need to go. So, there's a subscribe button and links to other videos. Uh, I think eventually this game will come out for reals and I might play it again, at which point maybe I'll stick a video there. If not, I don't know, maybe I'll just put other demos here or something. <laughs> See you later.